So welcome in this short tutorial about fuzzing Go package using a Go fuzz and lip fuzzer. So um, first thing we're going to do will be to uh, find which uh, packages will be our target. So I uh, select um, GIF, uh, so the, the package GIF, that is an official package provided by uh, the Golang uh, developer team. So uh, we're going to focus on this one because it's a really easy one and um, actually there is a, a bunch of uh, stuff that are pretty interesting. Um, so um, let's uh, find out first what are the most interesting uh, functions we can target for fuzzing. So we have decode that is pretty interesting that take as an, un uh, as an input a reader. So uh, that's uh, something easy uh, to provide uh, when doing fuzzing. We have uh, decode config that look a bit similar. And we have uh, encode and we have decode all. Okay, so that's, um, I think we're going to first start with decode and uh, after that we're going to uh, maybe play with decode all. Okay, so we identified the stuff, so uh, then we need to create the fuzzing harnesses. So I already um, do the work, uh, but I mean it's pretty easy. You just need to know uh, a bit more about the, uh, the fuzzer, so we're going to use gophers and gophers have a specific um, I will say grammar or specific way. Um, so gophers is right there. Um, random testing for go. Um, you need to create a first, uh, first function. So in that case, it's the example for the PNG package, but it, it will actually be pretty similar since we're going to use a uh, GIF. Uh, and I mean, the API is pretty similar. So we're going to uh, reuse this, um, this stuff and just uh, replace in order to use GIF. Uh, if you want to use more advanced uh, stuff, uh, I mean, just take a look on Google and you will see some other example. Uh, but I mean, it's pretty easy. Just think of um, you want to create a Go uh, program program that will uh, take, um, like you provide the data and you will need to read and decode the stuff and you just need to replace the name by fuzz and, and do the job. So that will be pretty easy. And uh, in all cases, we're going to use the lip fuzzer support. So that will be right there, but I will explain you uh, just after. So just to uh, show you, that's the um, fuzzing analysis for the GIF uh, packages. So we have some uh, Golang uh, compilation flag right there. We have package gif. Um, we have the name of the file is, is gif.go. Uh, we are importing byte and uh, image uh, gif. Uh, we need to import byte because we're going to need to create a reader uh, since uh, decode take a reader as uh, an input. So we're going to take this uh, byte array and give that to the new reader. It will return a reader that will be used then for the gif decode uh, function. So that's all we have our fuzzing harnesses. So that's pretty simple. And then uh, the next step is actually to compile. So I provide you a sheet set with all the command line. So we're going to um, use the go fuzz build. Uh, so gophers come with two different tools, gophers and uh, gophers build. You need to install them using this command line. And you have the gophers build. We're going to specify with the flag libfuzzer that we want to generate an archive that will be used by libfuzzer after. We provide the dash o and the name of this archive, gif.a and dot. Okay, so let's run this command line right there. Okay, good. Let's see if everything is good we have gif.a perfect so let's now compile with clang we specify that we're going to use um, f sanitize further so we specify that we want to compile with lib further we provide the dash the dot a and we provide as an output the name of the file that would be first gif so let's run that we can directly see first gif that is right there then we can create a corpora. So mkdir input corpora. So we have a folder when we're going to put some input uh, inside. And after that, we can just run the further uh, with that. So um, in that case, I'm not providing any input to the corpora. So uh, it will start with nothing and try to, uh, to find some stuff. So 
uh, as you can see, uh, it's working. Uh, we have some uh, evolution. We can see the, the fit, so that's the, that's the coverage. We have the execution time, uh, the number of executions, sorry, right there. Uh, so around 65,000 per second. Okay, and, and so on. So that's uh, like the most basic. Of course, it will be way, way better if we provide some uh, more advanced input. So I will let you take a look at uh, those links. That's like uh, other GIF uh, files that have been used for fuzzing. And ideally, you will um, want to search a maximum of them and have uh, like a proper uh, input corpora. Okay, so that's pretty much all. If you want to have some, uh, provide some extra argument to uh, this feather, since it's using lib feather, you can do dash uh, help equal one. You will get the help for lib feather, and uh, you can do stuff like uh, I don't know, like uh, let's see, max length. Uh, you have um, minimize crashes. Uh, you can uh, oh yeah, you can actually. Uh, use um, in multi-threaded if you are using like fork and uh, jobs uh, but yeah you get the you get the idea uh, and in order to provide some uh, extra argument you can just use um, like dash uh, and some argument and it will work so you have everything on this uh, file and i'm also providing the stuff directly uh, below so you can uh, take a look uh, at that so uh, I hope it was uh, short and, and simple. Uh, really take a look at that. And also, I forgot to mention, um, could be interesting for you to take a look at the example folder. Where is the example folder? Oh, um, OK, there is no example folder right there. So uh, just take a look at the different stuff that you can find in in, in in Google, uh, I mean, there is a bunch of uh, them. You have also the slides that are actually pretty nice, uh, those two slides, and will give you a bit more information about how uh, Gophers is working internally.